Gaming on the PC is really awesome. It usually means that we're getting the best representation of a video game in terms of its visual quality. One of the questions I get asked most often on this channel and on Twitter from console gamers like myself that got into PC gaming is how do I use my console controller on my PC? Well today I'm going to show you how to do that with the DualShock 4, but if you'd like to see a tutorial for the Xbox or Nintendo controllers like the Xbox One controller or the GameCube controller, let me know with a like and a comment below. First I'll show you how to do this on the PC, and then on a Mac. So on your PC, you're going to need Bluetooth, at least if you want to connect the controller wirelessly. If you don't have Bluetooth but you still want to do it wirelessly, you'll need to buy a dongle of some sort via USB. If you don't care about Bluetooth, then you can just connect the controller with the USB cable and skip this whole Bluetooth part together. So for those of you following the Bluetooth part, push the PlayStation and share buttons on your controller until the light bar starts flashing. Once the light bar is flashing, go to Bluetooth settings on your PC and find your controller under Discoverable Devices and pair it. Next, we're going to need to download a program in the description. It's called Input Mapper. Sony hasn't released official drivers for their controller on PC, so we're going to need this program to make it think that our PS4 controller is actually an Xbox controller. But once your controller is paired and you open up the program, you should see it there under the list of controllers. Go ahead and create a new profile and save it. And that's really about it. Now you can just open up any other game that can use an Xbox controller as an input method and start playing. If you run into issues with certain buttons not working, you might need to go into the options of your video game and change the input controller to the Xbox slash PS4 controller. And that's pretty much all you have to do for a PC. If you want to connect your controller back to your PS4, just connect it via USB, turn on the PlayStation 4, and hold the PlayStation Home button on the PS4 controller, and you should sync it back up. Now I'm going to show you how to do this on a Mac, which is even easier than PC. Once again, just hold the PlayStation and share button until the light bar flashes. Once it's flashing, go to your Mac's Bluetooth settings, pair the controller, and literally that's it. You don't have to use any other input method at all. That's pretty much set, just go ahead and open up a game and start playing. Once again, if you run into any issues with the mapping, then just go ahead and go into the controller options of the video game itself, and go ahead and tinker around with the controllers. And that's pretty much it, it's really simple to connect your controller over to a PC or a Mac, but if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth for some reason, I'll have an option for you in the description below along with some USB cables. And if you're on a Mac, you should have Bluetooth as most modern Macs just have it built in. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful, if you'd like to see other tutorials like this for the other controllers, let me know with a like and a comment below. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to be notified whenever I release more videos, and I also stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30pm Pacific Standard Time or 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. That's on YouTube Gaming. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.